Hello and welcome to this week's Indie Showcase. Uh, this week we are playing the demo of a game called The Case of the Golden Idol. Uh, so I came across this game because I recently-ish played Obra Dinn, Return of the Obra Dinn. Uh, the videos are on my channel if anybody wants to check that out. It was an amazing game. Um, and it's the first game that I've played made by Lucas Pope. Like, throughout that playthrough, you'll see me becoming a huge fan of Lucas Pope. Uh, he's a solo dev and he made that game, like, by himself and I'm like, oh my god, how? Anyway, once I finished that game, I went and followed him on Twitter and I scrolled through his feed a little bit. And he did some recommendations of some games, uh, like, if you liked Oberdin type of thing check this game out and I was like oh so I looked at it there's a demo it's indie and I was like this would be perfect for my indie showcase um so we'll see how it is it is developed by color gray games uh I'll read the description too a true detective game with a unique non-linear deduction system uncover a dark secret that connects 12 strange and gruesome deaths spanning 40 years that sounds like a me game. <laughs> I'm excited. Uh, I love deduction. I love murder. So, shall we jump in then? Don't really know what to expect. I don't know how much of the game will be in the demo. The The game isn't out yet. So, scroll entry 17, 7, 14, 6. This one's in colour, so I guess this is what we're going for. The Case of the Golden Idol, an abrupt termination of contract. Ooh, press anywhere to continue. Alright. All clickable clues are highlighted. If you prefer finding everything on your own, you can turn hotspot highlighting off. Uh, on it shows you, so you can either have these dots or not. I'll just keep them on. If they're automatically on, that might be the, the way the game is intended. Uh, so, Horn of Finger, Ruins of Xenopolis. I don't know if that's how you would say that. So many horns. Um, I think there's been a murder. Exploring, thinking. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. so if we are uh, thinking, we're going to an, a thought menu, okay. Oh, and this is scrolls. So the scroll is what happened. Monkey Paw Island. So-and-so pushed so-and-so from a cliff in the so-and-so of so-and-so on Monkey Island. And, okay, we've got things to discover, obviously, because we haven't explored yet. So, we've got bags. Tobacco pouch and a pipe cleaner. Oh, and it turns orange if we've looked at it. Filled with coins and gems, two bags. A golden statue filled with a red stone and a bag filled with coins and gems. A bag of media medical instruments and some medicine. Is it because of this statue? Did did he kill him for this statue? Maybe he fell off the cliff and he was trying to save him. We don't know. <laughs> Alright. Oh yeah, that's the two bags. Yeah, one of them's got a rifle and one of them's got a shovel. Both are murder weapons that could be used. Uh, ah! Belongings. Wait, who did I click on? The dead body? This clue has been added to the thinking panel. Alright, this is what we could see. Horn of finger, horn of thumb. Bay of shadows. Oh. We have things. Okay. I don't know if we're trying to identify where we are, but we are on a cliff near the coast. There's some islands out there. So I guess we're at the horn of thumb. Maybe. Okay. Uh, January 5th, 1742. This is early. Both parties agree to these terms 
for the expedition to Monkey Paw Island. Oh, Albert Cloudsley has rights to two thirds of all valuables for funding the expedition. Oberon Gala has rights to one third of all valuables and any golden statues found for providing the map to the expedition site. Uh, okay. So the one with the medical supplies is the doctor. And he only, oh yeah, and he only gets one third. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so this is how we identify each person. A medicine bottle. A scalpel! The doctor clearly would be carrying a scalpel around. I guess we just gotta click on all the words to make it be done. So he's the doctor. What are your belongings? I knew what you were plotting, you snake. Okay. There was a plot. A pipe. A dagger. <gasps> was he gonna kill him? No, wait. He didn't have any weapons, though. <laughs> was he gonna kill him for the treasure? Because he only got a third. A third plus statues, though. Both parties agree. Is this the same? Two thirds... Golden statues and one third. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are all the same. So they both are carrying the contract with them. Oberon is the doctor. So he is Oberon and he is Albert. Uh, so if we're going to thinking then, we can give them the identities. So <laughs> upside down. This is Albert. Cloudsley, and this is Oberon Gala, right? When everybody's named correctly, John Doe can drag words directly from the name slots. Maybe that means like we can drag the names directly from there. I guess it'll get more confusing when there's more people as well. Camp in a uh, horn of thumb I think so it's helping us like put our evidence together filled in correctly filled in correctly so we've got it Albert Cloudsley pushed Oberon Gala from a cliff in the horn of thumb on Monkey Paw Island yay the scroll has been fulfilled while Dr. Oberon Gala was surveying the Poor weather with his looking glass, his expedition partner Albert Cloudsley Esquire suddenly pushed him off the cliff. Hmm, he thought he was planning something. I would like to know what he was planning. <laughs> Alright, so we can leave for the next chapter because we've already, um, I think we already found everything there. Uh, oh, so scroll entries are the amount of maybe words that you put in oh look at this the case of the golden idol the untimely passing of a rural gentleman okay there he is untimely passing of a rural gentleman why was it untimely is it his birthday uh belongings he has an eye ring Oh, what did that say? This clue has been put into the thinking panel. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, so he fell from a thing. Okay. Uh, right, let's get back to exploring. A ring with a ruby. It's not an eye, it's a ruby. Wound head. The man is not breathing. There is a big wound in his head. Was he moved after... Oh, he was. Look, there's a blood trail. He was totally moved to his bed after death. Dr. Jonathan Fielding led poison in. Oh, God. Was he poisoned? Ladder. A tall, rickety ladder. I've got a picture of someone. Is that him?
Woodshire, Crow Tower, Blackfield. Uh, so we can see the lake. So we are in this house here, Blackfield. That's going to be important. August 23rd. Well, maybe we'll find a letter saying something's happening on August 23rd. Spontaneous combustion theorem. I, Sebastian Cloudsley. Wait, wasn't the other person called Cloudsley? Will share my humble contribution to the science of anatomy and chemistry. I mean, we'll take the words. Although I feel like maybe taking all of the words might make it more confusing. August 22, okay. Woke up, a beautiful day. 12.30. What? This is my kind of time. Washed and dressed in my dining attire. I had a beautiful roast duck for lunch. Changed to my hunting attire. Rode to hunt badges, had no luck today and returned home. Changed my, to my research in attire. Oh my god, changed to my dining attire. So it gets changed four times a day. Had tasty beef loin for supper. Filled in my diary and went to bed to continue reading for my research. Was this research about lead poisoning? Uh, how do I? Oh, there we go. Uh, and then he died overnight, I guess. A horse is running in the yard. Hmm. What attire is this? Oh, well, this is his dining attire, maybe? So we know it's not his dining attire. Oh, this will be his hunting attire? What is this? Well, it's covered in crap. Or is that his research in attire? What is that in his pocket? So he's wearing whichever one is left over. We can identify his attire by looking at these two things. A yacht is slowly floating in the river. Oh, it's the golden idol thing. Uh, okay. Have we looked at everything? Oh, we've got all the clues. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's put some things together. All right. So what's his name? Is his name Sebastian Cloudley and he was actually researching spontaneous combustion? <laughs> uh, I guess so. What was this one again? That's oh, his diary. Sebastian Cloudsley. Let's let's do this. So once we figured out who he is and other clues. Oh hey I see, yeah, so this is dining. I just can't tell what these things are. That could be his research attire. But it also could be his hunting attire. This could be his hunting attire. <laughs> oh, this could be his research attire. I feel like his research attire should be more clean because he's not like in a lab. Lord of Blackfield passed away in his bed. The cause of death was a. Uh. Bang to the head? Head injury. Head wound. When he fell from uh, something while he was researching, right? Ladder? Did he fall from a ladder though? Because the blood's all the way over here, you know? I don't feel like he fell from the ladder. What, did he fall and then land in his bed? Something sus. Um. 
Oh, hold on. Let's do this. Uh, we'll find out, I guess. If we get it wrong, it'll tell us. They look more like researching tools than hunting tools, right? I think... Let's see. Okay. So he was wearing his hunting attire. Which means it was probably like... Afternoon, like evening-ish. Before tea. Or dinner, whatever you call it. Evening meal. Yeah, look. This is so sus. Why would he have been recent? No. Oh. 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 He was hunting. I was like, why would he have been researching? While he... Um... Was wearing his hunting attire. And none of that added up. And maybe it's because he fell off his horse. While he was hunting and he got brought into his bedroom. Doesn't that make a lot more sense? Ooh. <laughs> the cause of death was a head wound which occurred when he fell from a horse while he was horse. <laughs> hunting. Yes! Oh my god, I was so close to getting that wrong! Well, uh, while the Lord of Blackfield was hunting, his horse threw him off and he got a head- A headly dead wound! <laughs> he got a deadly head wound! Wow. <laughs> a headly dead wound! Uh, leave for next chapter. Alright! So I guess we're only- Oh, I'm sad, we're halfway through! These ones have more entries though. Let's go to this one. Like, what is this? The case of the golden idol. The murder at the little mermaid. Is that a pub? Or a hotel? Right, lots of things to, to look at. Should we go left to right? Or right to left since there's like dead body. No, let's, let's keep the suspense. Uh... Why did that bugger give me a note when he damn well knows I can't read? Belongings. A shear. Old rusty half of shears. A piece of stale bread. You can lie low for a couple of days at the docks at the old oarsman's place. But he doesn't know because he can't read. Oh no. Okay. So who is this? Right, this is someone. Uh, a trap door in the ceiling. Empty bed, not warm. It has a coat on it though. Flowers. The door does not open. Locked. Did he climb out the window? Oh! Oh! I found a party! Oh, there's the thing on the picture. Oh, the little mermaid! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I like the vibe in here. Let's go down there and party after. This is locked from the inside. The door does not open. Trap door in the ceiling. So someone could have gone up around there. Uh, dandelions. Revenge. Err. Belongings. Okay. A ring with a ruby. Uh, who else had that? One of the people in the cliff. No, 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 no. The, the lord guy who fell off his horse. Hmm. He's been stabbed. The man is not breathing. Yeah. Been stabbed in the gut multiple times. Maybe with that thing that the other guy had? So, are the rubies some sort of secret club? A walking can. Okay. To my dear Morris. Maurice. Morris. The watch is ticking. Okay. Okay, we're gathering clues. We don't know. 
Oh, wait, is the mall here? Music box. All right. A letter. Wait, what's this? A washing bowl filled with slightly bloody water. Maybe the killer was trying to clean off their knife before they went out the window? Dear Master, I have attended our departed brother's sending off and have accepted the keepsake that he bestowed upon our order in his will. I will present it in our next gathering at the Harvest Moon. I am sending this letter tomorrow on the September 10th and I hope it will reach you without delay. It is already midnight and I will retire to my bed for this has been a long day. Bless the ever watching owl, Dragoncrest brother. Okay. Sounds culty, no? Uh, you look sus. Oh, oh, he's okay. Alarm, alarm, a break in. Okay, he's a guard or something. Watchman. Watchman's Lantern. Watchman's Spear. Oh, so it's given us more murder weapons. Watchman number two, Henry Parker. Alarm Rattle. Oh, it has the names on. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Shards of glass lie in the mud. Was it a break in or was it a break out? You know? So I'm thinking so far, it's it was the other... Because this dude had a letter, right, that says you can lie low for a couple of days. So, like, why would you need to lie low unless you, like, murdered someone? Alright, what's down here then? Left to right again? Tell me then, what did that man have that I don't? Uh-oh, did he get rejected? So, a hand of cards. Seven pence. A key. A small sword. What man? Is it the man upstairs that you murdered? Be calm, John. He was just a gentleman and bought me a drink and then went upstairs to sleep. <gasps> was it her? Okay, everyone is suspicious. A hand of cards. To Annie. You are beautiful like a rose. For you, I will take any blows. Annie, you are like a glass of wine. Your hair is very fine. I will find gold in a mine, if that makes you forever mine. Your piglet full of love. Wow. That's a poem. That is poetry. Two shillings and four pence. A key. So these must all be keys to their rooms. A stiletto blade. Okay. I don't even know what a stiletto blade is. I thought it was a shoe. This clue has been added to the thinking panel. So this is what? The scores of the um, the games that they're playing? I so saw Abby. Annie. Sorry, not Abby. John. So uh, Annie was playing all of the games. John missed the first game. Oh, it depends. This could be Annie. Ooh, okay, okay. We've got more more thingies to do. Are you gonna tell us everybody's names? Just deal the next one. It's all luck anyways. Hand of cards. Oh, maybe we can figure it out based on how much money they've got. Three shillings, two pence. A key. A dagger. Everyone has bladed instruments. Uh you. Oh, mother, forgive me. I will never gamble with something so dear to me. A vile... Oh, I thought it was a crossbow. <laughs> I was like, this guy's wielding some weapons. It's a violin. A navaja... Navia... Navaja... Folding blade. I don't know what that word says, but a folding blade. A key. It's given us so many options of murder weapons. Right, the Little Mermaid Inn on September 9th. Amazing Evans, musical performance. 
Event starts at around 11 o'clock in the evening. That letter that we read upstairs was sent on the 10th though, and it- Oh! Oh, this wasn't to him. He was gonna send this in the morning. Right? It's 9th today. Okay, okay. So this was actually written by him. I feel like I need to read it again now that I've... I have attended our departed brother's sending off and I've accepted the keepsake that he bestowed upon our order in his will. I will present it in our next gathering at the Harvest Moon. Uh, was it him who had the ring? I'm sending the... Because it is his brother, the, the Lord man. Maybe not. Maybe it's not connected. I'm sending this letter tomorrow. I hope it'll reach you. It's already midnight. I will retire to my bed, being a long day. Dragon Crest Brother. Bless the owl. Okay, okay. That clears some stuff up. So this is Evans. Amazing Evans. Wait. Oh no. Was it like, was it A-E? And he'd been gambling this whole time, even though he said he will never gamble. Wanted, Robert Redruth. <gasps> Is that the guy that's outside? Escape convict, reward £50. Is that the guy that's out the window? Tab, green, four wine, GL, Don't, glass. Reage, three wine glass, Blair. Okay, so these are some surnames. One wine glass. Uh, I guess, do we have to assess how drunk they are? They're all drinking wine. Green, Reage, Blair. G, B, B. G, B, B. Hmm. So this John is probably Breach, right? Because he's been here longer than these bees. Annie Green has had three glasses. Uh, September 9th, Dandelion Room. Yep, yep. Willard Wright. That's the person who's died. Forget Me Not Room, Ash Blair. Ash Blair. A B. Ash Blair. In the dandelion. Uh, the Forget Me Not Room. Yep, yep. We got so much information. Where did that blasted boy go? I really need a piss. A large kitchen knife. Um, received from the Old Pine Distillery. Ten bottles of gin. Five bottles of rum. Uh, Oscar Boyton. Is that his name? Okay. A ring of various keys and a partially peeled lemon. What if the lemon's the key to it all? The door to the street is shut with a latch and we found all the clues. Right, let's go into our thinking brain then. So I think she is Annie Green. Let's start identifying people. Uh, oh, are we gonna fix? Oh boy, right. How about this guy? He was Willard Wright. Uh, oh, so he actually. Uh, played a game as well. And then this this would be Annie. This would be Annie. This would be Annie. I had him down as John Bridge. These could be wrong, but you know. That would be him. Um. Oh, we had his name and his name. He's on the wanted poster. Right, let's go back to explore in a second. Robert Redruth. Robert Redruth. Oscar is the bartender, I think. 
Um, uh, right, let's just go back to this a second. Ash Blair. Has the forget me not room. Blair. And Blair's had one wine. So I think this is Ash Blair. Maybe. Ash Blair. Uh, this is Evan. Amazing Evans. Don't know what his first name is. Oh, maybe we can get it from here. Um, where did we get this name, Maurice, from? And we can go and get... Right, let's go and get his name. Henry Parker. If we've got this right, it will help, right? Obviously, that's the aim of the game. <laughs> Henry Parker. So I guess that would make him Maurice. Yes! All correct! Lovely. So, he did gamble and he lost. <laughs> okay. Um. Or B. Oh, even the bartender got in on it? Sounds like it's been a fun night. And Ash Blair is in the current game. Excellent. So. Oh. Right, so this has got to be... Willard Wright. Through the attic? Does that mean it was Ash Blair? Because he is in the forget me not room? While so and so and so and so and so and so were playing cards with loud music. So we know it wasn't Annie Green. Annie Green was always playing cards. We know it wasn't this time because Willard Wright wasn't playing cards while he was getting murdered. So... It's got to be John playing cards as well. So either Oscar or Ash was playing cards at the time of the murder. A fight ensued upstairs and uh, Willard Wright got stabbed with a murder weapon. <laughs> right, is it? Oh, right. It doesn't. No, 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 no. It doesn't have to be through the attic right because the window smashed why would the window be smashed right so remember how I was like why would he need to lay low he's a convict so that doesn't mean he did it he could just be walking past he probably didn't even come in he has the stale piece of bread to survive off. But this implicates Ash because he's in the forget-me-not room. Hold on, let me double check that. Yeah, Ash Blair, which would also help us to identify that it was Oscar playing cards. Let's try it. I don't know what happens if you get it wrong. Because... If it wasn't... Right, the thing... Right, that doesn't add up to the window. Oh, um, during the fight, maybe? The window got smashed during the fight? The door downstairs is latched, right? So I don't... I don't think they would have, like, gone outside. And then... Uh gone up through the window like right yeah I I'm going with my goat so Ash Blair through the trap door I mean anyone no no they couldn't I was gonna say they could have got in through the door they could have and then escaped out the window if they knew him hold on where did I hear Morris's name? To my dear Morris. This is the musician's pocket watch. Why is that in here? Maybe the musician knocked on the door, came in, had a fight, locked it. Oh, no, 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 because he would have taken the watch. <laughs> 
Like, had a fight, locked the door, jumped out the window. No, he would have... Why is that there, though? Right, I'm still gonna... I'm still gonna try this theory. Andy doesn't seem to be as into the game as the other ones. And a dagger that seems like a good murder weapon. Correct! Correct! Uh, Ash Blair snuck into the into Willard's room through the trapdoor, but when he opened the musical chest, it woke up Will. Ah, oh, yeah, it woke up Willard, and the men started fighting. In the tussle, Ash stabbed Willard in an attempt to frame an escaped convict. Well, that like no flies on me. That you're not gonna fool me, Ash. Go to jail, Ash. <laughs> Uh, next chapter. Yay! We are doing well! I love this. This is really good. The Case of the Golden Idol. The dramatic departure of an outsider. Where are we going to be now? Chaos! Uh, there's a man on fire. Belongings. A scorched knife. He's burning out of his eyes and mouth. Oh my god. Why is he on fire? Spare me, devil. I was just following orders. A knife. Hmm. What the blazes? <laughs> That's appropriate. August Jockey Club Derby. Race 3. Raging Sultan. £35. That's a lot of money in those days. A big bet. Now, if it's all the same to you, I will take my leave. <gasps> he's got the ring. And he's alive. Golden Idol of Xenopolis. Second. Uh, we we saw that on the other map. Oh, is that the statue that the other guy had in his bag that got killed? The medic. Second right, spontaneous combustion. <gasps> spontaneous combustion. <gasps> what is going on? This is what the guy was researching. The left hand works the golden idol counterclockwise. The right hand communicates the sacred phrase. <gasps> oh, the idol is here too. With a large red stone. Yeah, is it a ruby? It's a cult. It's some kind of cult. One pound, two shillings, and two pence. Okay, these are the these are the rich folk. Well, I think. Hmm. Interesting. Uh Ash Blair. You're not in jail? How are you not in jail? Finest tobacco. Okay. Two shillings and a penny. A saddle bag. Is that initials? E? A dagger. Have you stole someone's bag? Ash. Got my eye on you. September stable cleaning shift. Okay, so these are the stuff. James, James, Adam, Adam, James, Adam. And do it properly, you lazy bunch. So it depends what day it is, I guess, to what staff is here. Is he the stable hand? What an unexpected turn of events. EC! Embroidered handkerchief. That's the same embroidery that's on the saddlebag. Three pounds and three shillings. Dear Edmund. After it reached my ears that you were looking for a new capable servant, I realised I had just the man for you. David Gorin is an experienced coachman who has a diverse set of talents which I'm sure you will find very useful. If you are displeased with his service, do let me know. XX. Stiletto Blade. London Gazette. Monday the 7th. So that's telling us it's Monday, so James is here. Lord Edmund Cloudsley's 
speech stirs parliament. Oh, we've we've met a couple of Cloudsleys. I'd have to go back to the old ones and have a look. That's probably why you can explore the old ones as well. Because it's the same characters. It's an ongoing story. So he's recommending a servant to Edmund. Oh. Edmund. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Uh, dinosaur on fire? Oh, it's a different vibe in here. Uh, so there's a hole in the wallpaper with drawings on the wall. Fat Lord. <laughs> A.J. Pear Twins. Hmm. Ah, Bartley, Cloudsley, Cuba. Are these like, uh, like, I was gonna say sigils, I don't think that's the word. Like, family heirloom, what they call? Crests? So we're in the Bartley room right now. Oh, I should click on them all. My apologies, he can be such a badia sometimes. Badia? Bada? Six rings with various stones. None of them are ruby eyeballs, though. Four pounds. Ornamented Qatar blade. A fan. Shamal Bat. Sim Hazana Bat Easy. Okay, I don't know what that means, but we can remember she's got it. Nicholas Maker, attorney. Attorney at law. I did not expect someone from your family to treat a legal document like that. I'm appalled. Is this Nicholas Maker? Two pounds, two pence. Reading the last will and testament of Sebastian Cloudsley. Is this a last will and testament and there's a man on fire that's just spontaneously combusted? Maybe he didn't get what he was hoping for. So... Oh god. So this is Sebastian Cloudsley. He... Wanted his stuff go to this side of the family? Not a fan of his sister Beatrix. Oh. Cubert was one of the thingies. <gasps> Willard Wright is dead. Oh, associate. He's not Edmund Cloudsley's son. Okay. Oh, but he wants to give it to his nephew, Peter Batley. Okay, okay. Let's just click all the names. We're gathering. We're gathering infos. We're gathering the deets. Uh. Oh, hold on. Does that cross mean they're dead? Maybe that's why he's not given any of his will to his parents or his sister. Because they're dead. That makes more sense. Um. So is that, is that marriage or is that child? Can't tell. I feel like it would be on this side if it was marriage. I don't know. Four inheritors all present. Okay, so Edmund Cloudsley, Rose Cubert, Willard Wright, and Peter Bartley are all present right now. Uh, okay. So this guy is Nicholas Maker. Let's put his name in. Let's tap on people's names in as we get them. Uh, she must be Rose. If she's the only girl. Sebastian Cloudsley. Collection of Anforzisms. How to be happy. Eat a hearty meal every day and do not waste your time on trivialities. How to avoid being upset. Strive for things that have meaning and take responsibility. How to be inspired. Take a walk in the forest. In your forest and breathe the fresh air. How to avoid being scared. Feeling scared is a weakness. Be strong instead. 
That's some advice. <laughs> Be strong instead, guys. Ooh, what's happening here? Ooh, some letters have been torn up. Will it write Rose Cubic? This clue has been added to the thinking. Oh, are we going to put it all together? Maybe. I bequeath you the golden idol. Oh, the golden idol of Xenopolis. You will know what to do with it. So whoever he gave that to is the person who's got it outside, probably. I want you to put your sharp mind to better use than mere politics. Therefore, I bequeath you the notes from my research I have undertaken on astronomy. Astronomy? Astronomy. Feel free to finish it and publish it under both our names. So I guess this is how we're going to figure out who is who because we're going to find out what they got. Your mother shared... So we know that who's the per Edmund is the one in politics because he gave a speech. So Edmund is the one that has the research. Your mother shared your financial troubles with me long ago and I decided I would help you. I bequeath to you a compilation of my amphorisms or the book to provide the direction in your life that you have clearly been missing. So he's talking about your mother. So this must be the, the son, Peter Battery or Batley, Batley. I know you met so rarely after you went to the colonies, therefore I bequeath you my savings land and the Blackfield Manor House. Is this the guy who died? Oh, it must be. Oh, hold on, because not forgetting. Thingy Willard. What's his name? Willard Wright. Then goes to a hotel and he's going to share something with an order, right? Um, I know we met so rarely after you entered the colonies. Therefore, I bequeath you my savings land in the Blackfield Manor House. Move back and use them to create a museum of my life and accomplishments. Don't live there and live your own life. Finish my life for me. I, Sebastian Cloudsley, Blackfield County, begin... Being in bodily health and of sound mind and disposing mind wait of sound and disposing mind and memory nominate and appoint Nicholas Maker as executor of my will and testament dear Edmund Okay so we maybe we'll get to put to move them around this is another betting thing uh, July. Okay. Spinning Jenny. Race 6. Dear Peter Bartley, we have sent you frequent reminders concerning the settlement of your debt and to date the debt remains unpaid. We humbly request that you make your payments as soon as possible or we will be forced to take the matter into our own hands. The current amount of debt 255 pounds black guard and book loads that's a lot of money oh is this could this then be the one who's making all the bets to try and get his money you know maybe i can deduce that right we found all the clues let's go into here ah it's put right okay let's put them separate and we can put in who they are for i like that <laughs> So, right, let's start putting some names and she has got to be, uh, oh, where's the list? Rose Cubert. Right. Who spontaneously combusted? <laughs> Um, gotta put that in there. Rose. Uh, all right, let's go back outside then. How do I explore? There we go. <laughs> so 
so this has got to be James. Just James. How do we know what his surname is? Do we have anyone? E. Oh, Edmund. Huh. Dear Edmund. Or maybe he's Edmund. He has a paper about himself. He has his hanky. Okay, he is Edmund. I think. Edmund Cloudsley. Okay. Um. So is this... No, Ash Blair isn't even here. Why has he got Ash Blair's tobacco? Or maybe Ash Blair has a tobacco company. I still feel like he's stealing. So he got the ring and the idol. Is he, um... Willard? Oh, yeah, so maybe the person spontaneously combusted because they tried to do something with the idol. Or maybe he used the idol to make them burn. All this person's got is a knife. What the blazes? So I think this is the one that's in debt. Uh... Damn it, where was that at? Peter Bartley. Peter Bartley. So who is left? Willard Wright. We know that this can't be Willard Wright. Hold on, right. Who gets the idol? The golden idol of Xenopolis. Xenopolis. You will know what to do with it. Burn someone. Your mother shared your financial troubles with me long ago and I decided I would help you. Oh, and the help he's given him for his financial troubles is that book! <laughs> this book! <laughs> that's amazing and the, all he's got is bet and slip. Yeah, that's... What, that's who? <laughs> that's really funny. Who's got the bet and slip? Oh god. Peter. Oh, that is hilarious. He's got all this fortune and he gives the one that's in debt the book. The life advice. Oh my god, this is really funny actually. This game is really good. Um, so, yes, this is for Peter Bartley. Um... Right, this has got to be for Edmund, right? It gave him the research. Because he doesn't want him to go into politics. So... Uh, we met so rarely. This has got to be the woman then. This has got to be a rose. And then... The golden idol, Willard. Let's, let's see if I'm, I'm on any track here. Uh, Golden Idol, uh... So that's Rose... Cubit. <gasps> no! I got it wrong! I got it wrong! Okay. Let's have a think here. Let's have a think. Oh, he has a knife that says A, by the way. Even though it's Monday, so he should be James, not Adam. Hmm. Hmm. Bainsley. Now if it's all the same to you, I will take my leave. See, he's leaving. And he had a ring. So this has got to be Willard. Yeah. 
He looked so different though. I can't. I mean, he was dead. So he got a saddle bag. Maybe he is just a. Oh no, maybe. Maybe he's the. Um, stable hand. Hmm. Hmm. What names have we got left? Maybe that'll help. So. Got Rose, Nicholas, Edmund, Willard, Peter. David. Right. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to go back through everyone's letters. Speech stirs parliament. That makes him the politician. David Gorin is an experienced coachman. Maybe he is David. He would have a saddle bag. David. Uh, who is burning? Uh, yeah, and that's just anonymous. Anonymous. Right, we've got to remember this is telling us we're at the Bartley house. We've identified these people. He's these are all dead, so we've identified the full full names here. Five full names because of him as well. Also, it's telling us Batley is the one with the betting slips because they're in his house. And a letter. This is he's the one in debt. So we definitely know that he is Peter Barley, 100% and this is right. Financial troubles, yes. Um, I'm so shocked that this is wrong. What is the colonies after you went to the colonies? We know Edmund is a politician, so these two are definitely right. So that must mean we've got these two backwards. Uh, Willard, right. Did he give all of his fortune to someone who was not in the family? <gasps> Wrong? Okay, okay. Your mother shared your final... It's... <laughs> Have I got the name right? I mean, she doesn't have the golden idol. Rose Cubert. Willard, right? No. So, what about then? He was definitely on the thing, wasn't he? On the list. Associate, yeah. Hmm. Edward. Edmund. Who's Sebastian? Oh, who is Sebastian? Hmm. Is this to do with colonies I don't know what it exactly that means but she's got like things that clearly aren't from this country so colonies yeah these all felt so right 
Will it? Um. Starting to wonder if I have just got someone's name wrong. Oh wait, I have. Edmund isn't Batley. He's Cloudsley. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, Peter is Batley. No! Oh, I've got them backwards. <laughs> Edmund Cloudsley. Oh my god, I just got his surname wrong this whole time. I even knew that he wasn't that. Okay, no, that's good. I'm so glad that we... Our original logic was sound. <laughs> I thought it made too much sense to, like, not to be wrong um sebastian oh sebastian's the dead guy he isn't the one that's on fire is he um right at least that's narrowed down some names i guess so what have we got left? We've used David Gorin. Right, so forget about these two then. James and Adam are the stable hands. Oh, the, the people on the clean and rotor anyway. I keep saying stable hand. Nicholas Maker, yeah. Sebastian's a dead guy. Pear. Who is he killing then? Did he hate someone? I feel like I'm missing something to understand the identity of this person. Oh, Jay! He's got the same type of knife. Okay, 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 that's James. That's Adam. They're both in at the same time. I understand, these are the staff. Doesn't mean they've got the day off just because they're not on the cleaning row, huh? Uh, what's their surnames though? Pear? <laughs> Spare me devil, I was just following orders. James and Adam. Pear? <laughs> they are? How were we meant to know their name was Pear? I only used it for the process of elim- Oh, maybe that's the point. Process of elimination. Okay. So James Pear suddenly died from spontaneous combustion. Uh, somebody was something to receive something in Sebastian Cloudsley's will. And ordered so and so and so and so to take the something from someone. Uh, right, let's have another look at the scene. Was he wanting to take the idol from him? That's what I'm guessing. Was to take the idol from Willard Wright. Someone wasn't happy to receive. Oh, maybe. One unexpected turn of events. Maybe he is the one. Who ordered this? Yeah, he's following orders, so he got ordered to do it. Or maybe he ordered the stable hands to, to do it. Uh, the pairs. So if this was... Peter Bartley was upset to receive aphorisms <laughs> in Sebastian Cloudsley's will 
and ordered Adam Peter, Adam Peter, Adam Pear and James Pear to take the idol from Willard Wright. Suddenly James Pear died from spontaneous combustion. Yes! Peter Bartley, encumbered by his gambling debts, had placed high hopes on his uncle's testament. When he found out he had inherited nothing but a book of aphorisms, aphorisms? I don't know that word. He tore up the will and ordered his servants to take the golden statue from Stranger Willard. Oh yeah, they're his servants because we are at the Batley house. Yeah. Uh, suddenly, one of the servants burst in flames. Poor James. James in flames. Oh. That's the end of the demo. That was so good. Oh my god, I loved it. Thank you for finishing the demo of The Case of the Golden Idol. To unravel the mystery behind the Golden Idol and the Cloudsley family, support the development of the game in the following ways. Wishlist on Steam, share feedback on Discord, follow them on Twitter. I implore you all to do all these things. That was an excellent demo. That was so good. I totally understand why it was recommended by Lucas Pope. Um, what, what a game. Yeah, I will totally love to play the rest of this game. Why are the rats playing cards? We haven't met any rat people. <laughs> uh, that was excellent. Like, oh god, I love that so much. I really like, um, it's not too hand-holdy. Like, and you could turn off. The, the hint thing if you wanted to but I was happy with it to be honest I enjoyed systematically going through each clue filing the clues in my brain uh, to try and figure out the story of what's happened but then also you like using environmental thingies as well to try and help solve it like it wasn't just the clues like for example the one in, in the house Sebastian I think it was the blood trail on the floor showed you that it wasn't the ladder and I guess his outfit. Uh, like, I really liked that you had to use the process of elimination to, to figure out exactly what happened. Very, very cool. I liked it a lot. And if you enjoyed this and you haven't played Return of the Obra Dinn, I implore you to go and play that as well because that is kind of like this, but on a huge scale. Like. Oh, is this it? Is it open world? It's not open world, but it, it's very open. You have like, it's a similar thing where you have 60 names, 60 people, 60 fates, and you've got to put the names to each person by watching how they died and figuring out environmental cues and, and the story and all of this stuff to be able to give every person the correct name and the correct method of death by the correct potential murderer. Um, it is excellent. And yeah, if you're into this kind of stuff, Return of the Obra Dinn is a must play. Or if you don't like puzzle games, my series is on YouTube as well. Um, like if you don't like playing them. And we had an amazing time and I fell in love with that game as I played it. So if you want to see somebody falling in love with a game, that, that's a series. <laughs> anyway, we must support this game. I can't wait for this game to be made. Let me just check. Oh, it just says coming soon. No release date yet. But I'm keeping a very, very close eye on it. Excellent. All right. Thank you, everybody. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. And I'll see you next week for some more indie games. Thank you. Bye bye.